Welcome. This is a recording of the Professional Development Leslie webinar originally hosted on July 14, 2022. This webinar focuses on a recent update made to the facility site details page and the Washington State Workforce Registry Merit. This webinar was originally presented by Marlene White and Aaron Schock, who are both members of the professional development team at the Department of Children, Youth, and Families. During this webinar, we will review the background and purpose of the facility site details page. We will then introduce a new feature on this page specifically designed to support licensed child care centers and child care family homes manage staff qualification requirements. This new feature is called the Licensed Job Role tab. Then we will spend some time learning about how you can participate in future merit design development. Let's get started. The facility site details page is a management tool used to monitor and maintain employee and household member information in merit. To request access to this tool, an owner, director, or family home child care licensee completes a facility site registration application in merit. It's important to note that the individual completing the facility site registration application must be listed as the primary contact for the facility and site in FamLink. Primary contact information is managed in FamLink by an assigned licensor. All personal information for the primary contact in FamLink and Merit must match or else the system will not allow you to submit the application. After a primary contact has access to the facility site details page, other staff can also have access to this management tool by being assigned to the role of an additional designee in Merit and submitting a facility site registration application. The facility site details page is used to confirm or end date employment records, assign the additional designee role, monitor completion of staff qualifications, like background checks and health and safety records, and to participate in early achievers. One thing to note about this page though, is that to ensure the protection of an individual's personal information Employers cannot add or remove information from an employee's professional record. They also cannot complete applications on behalf of their staff. Merit is where individuals create a personalized professional record, and that record travels with them throughout their career. So it is truly owned by that individual. To learn more about how to access the facility site details page or how to complete the application, please visit our Merit Workforce Registry webpage linked here. Now let's take a look at how this page actually looks. It includes various management tabs at the top of the page. These include things like the employee information tab which allows you to view a list of all employees or household members associated with a facility or site. It also allows you to view general information about your staff, such as their job title, how long they've worked for you, and the status of their portable background check. You can also confirm your staff's employment by clicking on the blue edit icon under the status column. So you might be thinking, that's great, but what is actually changing on this page? Well, first, I think it's important to note that everything that currently exists on this page is staying. Nothing is leaving. However, it now has the new management tool the Licensed Job Role tab, which as I mentioned earlier, is designed to make it easier for licensed child care centers and 
family homes to track and monitor employee staff qualifications. It does this by narrowing the employee list to only show information for job roles with licensing staff qualifications. It also allows you to preview your staff's individual dashboards. Dashboards provide a color-coded snapshot view of where an individual is at in completing role requirements. This page also includes updated column headers that are specific to licensed staff qualifications. It also has filters that allow an employer to refine information by job role, qualification type, and the status of the qualification, such as has it been met or is it unmet or is that person still in progress towards meeting the requirement? Let's take a peek at what this new licensed job role tab actually looks like in Merit. On the facility site details page, you can find it located next to the Employee Information tab. Once you've selected the tab, your employee information will automatically filter down to only show staff working in licensed job roles. You can then use these drop-down filters to narrow your screen information. To access the dashboard previews we mentioned earlier, you can click on the blue dashboard icon. A pop-up box will appear that allows you to see a read-only view. Again, the dashboard includes color-coded status bars that provide a high-level overview of account information. These status bars can expand to include additional information about the completion of staff qualifications, like child care basics training and food handler permit. All information on the dashboard is updated nightly. You can also download the information from this licensed job role tab into an Excel document by clicking on the export button shown here. And that concludes our overview of the new licensed job role tab in the facility site details page. But what about future merit development? Well, DCYF would like to partner with the Early Learning Workforce to co-design future merit enhancements. This includes user experience testing, interviews, and focus groups. If you found these updates interesting and you would like to participate in future design planning and development, please contact us at merit gcyf.wa.gov. We would love to hear from you. Thank you.